Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome. As you can see, I have all my powders laid out, continuing this mid-year declutter. Not really trying to declutter or cut my collection in half, just getting rid of products that I'm not using or too old, um, maybe the wrong shade, things like that, and passing them on. If products are brand new and I have not used them, I will put them in a drawer for future giveaways. Um, I will announce like giveaway announcement things when I get my Ipsy and BoxyCharm this month. So you guys know what's going on with that. If you hear like a thump thump, Papa is in here. He is just being a little pain in the bahookie today. So enough rambling. Let's just get on with the declutter. If I go to the right, I have my basket that I am decluttering. If I come to the left, I have baskets that I am keeping. So first I have the Becca. This is the Soft Light Blurring Powder. This is in my project pan for this year. So I will be keeping this as well as the Urban Decay Velvetizer. This is in my project pan, so I'll be keeping this one. Also in my project pan is the Laura Mercier. This is just the translucent powder. So those three are automatic keeps. Okay, I have two from Wet n Wild. I have the pressed powder in natural beige, neutral beige. Unfortunately, this shows up like a little light on me. So I will declutter this one. However, the Photo Focus Translucent, I will be keeping. Okay, here is a Laura Geller. It's actually a baked versatile powder foundation in medium. It is like completely like fallen apart. So I am going to actually like just toss this right now. Okay. Maybelline Fit Me in 100 Translucent. This shows up a little white on me. Like, it's not translucent. It's, it lightens my foundation. So I will declutter this one. My Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the waterproof setting powder. One of my favorites I will be keeping. Another Urban Decay, the Ultimate Brush Set and Brush Off Set and Go in Universal. I will keep this one. However, the Urban Decay Naked Skin, this one is in Medium Light. It's just a little too dark for me, so I will declutter that one. And I do have the Cherry, the Scented Sparkling Body Powder. I will keep that one. Okay, I have my hour, oh, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. Love this. I will be keeping. I have the It Bye Bye Pores Translucent. Again, you guys know that's one of my favorites. I will be keeping that one. The Ciate London, I actually have two. I have the Watermelon Burst Setting Powder. This is the Pressed Powder. I will keep this one. And then I have the Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. And this is a translucent, so I will keep this one. Um, the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. I will keep this one. It's just like a little deluxe size. Then I have the Juvia's Place. This is I Am Magic Setting Powder in White Sands. Um, I will keep this one. I haven't really given it a fair enough chance. The It Bye Bye Pores, one of my favorites. It is translucent, so I will keep it. The 
Then I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This one is in medium. I don't even think I opened this, or have I? No. I think this is actually going to be too dark, so I will actually pop this in a future giveaway. My Believe Beauty. This is just the Believe Beauty Translucent Powder. I will be keeping. I have the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder in Translucent. I will keep this one. I have the Wet n Wild Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter this one. I've had it for a while. I usually just use it under my eyes, but it's making it a lot lighter than what I would like. So I am going to declutter this one. I have the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. It's translucent, love it. Don't know where the cap is, probably Popeye. So I will keep this one. As well as the Too Faced Peach Perfect Translucent Peach Whisper. I love this, so good. I will keep that one. The Pretty Vulgar, I still have to try. It's the powder room matte about it. It is a translucent powder. So I will try this one. I have the Collab Beauty Set the Stage Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder. This one is in Porcelain Ivory. It does work for me. I will keep it. Y'all know I love the Becca. This is the Hydra Mist, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So, so good. I want to see if I can pick up like one or two more before they go out of business. I, I just, I love it. And then I have the Cody Original Airspun. I am actually going to get rid of this. Time to declutter. It does leave like a flashback if you're using flash. So fair warning. Great powder, but I'm just not willing to take that risk. And it's very like push when you open it just like there's powder everywhere so i'm getting rid of that one and i'm going to keep my rcma powder i actually use it you know to set my face to bake um, but also for all of my large trusted women if you put like vaseline or something underneath your breasts and then put this on top it helps from chafing so these are the ones that I'm keeping, as well as my three for my project pan. And then these are the ones I'm getting rid of. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and the one Laura Geller that I threw out. So that is it for my powder foundation. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the post notification bell so you're notified every time you get I upload a video. Give this video a huge thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.